So this is the Loi, Kaimi. Kaimi, would you like to tell us something to the people in Hawaii? Uh, yes, it's mahalo everybody for you guys continue support. Yeah, today we was arrested and we just, uh, we just got out back home over here. Uh, it was a very successful day in exposing uh, the situation here of the error of the county and how they Put a taxation on the lo'i so um, in all in all yeah we got we got arrested and we all we all have uh, court dates to appear in court and that is somewhere where we could uh, present our case and our situation and um because they didn't let us uh assert our rights and our our interests and our titles to the land so we kind of had to get that way so we got arrested and stuff to have a hearing you know i did see that the machines came in here as we were told, and you can see the evidence of the excavator that came in here, mm. which they don't have any jurisdiction. As a tribal historic preservation officer too, I have this place uh, registered with the Department of Interior. And uh, the Department of Defense is something that we're working with right now to uh, you know, uh, s settle this matter and uh, you know, make things pono and preserve this, the, the lo'i, because you kind of have a taxation on the lo'i, the konohiki sets the value of the taxation or sets the value of the lo'i of the aina and um it's totally illegal what they're trying to do they want to put a house side on a on a lo'i and uh that's not pono this is a, a pano one actually for kiva'a in this royal patent here in uh, kailili in wainiha it's a very ancient place of our families we have burial sites here and uh as you can see we have our religious shrines here and where we all come to pule and pray and uh, manifest good stuff for our people. But anyways, yeah, we'll be back and uh, we just regroup in and stay tuned everyone. And I, I, tomorrow we're gonna be on the radio show, uh, KKCR. Uh, tune in and, and see what the latest is. And if you guys have a, you guys can and you wanna come and kukia uh, ihaloa, shout out to all the ohana all around the pai aina. Uh, come over here and, and come talk story. Come, we go uh, vala'a and learn and kuka kuka. Ceremony, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a vigilant thing, you know, we stay in ceremony. And, um, you know, just come learn and protect Haloa. And, you know, being, this is an example to uh, expose this to the light. And where all our families and members can find and research and know about these Alodio titles and bring these things to surface. And, uh, you know, have some kind of... Uh, Resolution of these lands where we, we, we uh, do what the right thing is, what is Pono, so. How are you doing, Felicia? Good. You know, yeah, we have to like barricade the lo'i and our boundary there, you know, keep them out of our lo'i. 
They even try to come to the neighbor's yard and it's legal, you know, the, the, the cops over there assisting them to try to come around to the neighbor's yard and they can hole through and come and excavate and bulldoze. So can you tell us the story of this particular piece of land? But then this is actually an ancient well packed in, so yeah, but this remains in the family, but the whole basic thing about it is just a lo'i, okay? And here, the lo'i, anywhere the lo'i is not to be disturbed because it's, it's just a protected in perpetuity. Were passed down to the generations and they haven't even come yet these these areas are to remain as lo'i me designated by my family and ohana and friends as who i am and the powers that be that i hold from akua and everyone else giving me my blessings we were guided and asserted by our families and kupunas to malama not only this area but everywhere else that we can especially if there's genealogical ties and if it's a lo'i it doesn't make a difference if it's on the other side of the road it's still a lo'i and we, our interest is in the lo'i right we're seeing the persistent gentrification of the community and the traditional lands and the way of life and so as um, these these places this could easily be turned into an estate do you know anything about the current landowner yes i do her name is katrina Mariner. she's she, she hasn't even been here to hear our side of the story. We've tried negotiating with her. But she lives in the, on the East Coast. Pretty much they just buying lands and you know they're capital, making capital on it and they're just grubbing it and selling it. You know, and like there is an illegality within the taxation of the area and, and the properties. And, and you know, it's pretty, it was uh, you know, pretty clear that this place was sold illegally yesterday with the mayor and Monokia Tras. And how did they do this? And why are there these things? And that's why these things are arising because all these things are coming to front to address and you know be, be dealt with. To know what is Pono, know what is right, and understand that the kingdom of Hawaii still exists and their titles are fraudulent. And they cannot sell the lo'i, which they have been, and these are sacred places. As a spiritual person and leader of our community and our families, it's very, uh, how should you say it? it puts, makes me uh, do a lot of work. When people in rel come to me asking me and telling me that they have spiritual troubles and spiritual problems. One of that is the reason is because some things are to be sacred all the time. Especially our lo'is, our rocks, our pohaku, our burial sites, and most of all, just the, our people. So this, this is where it all stops. This is where the lie stops. I'm calling all you guys, all the realtors and companies, this is where the families come back and balance comes back to our people. You guys have stole and you guys have pillaged, you guys have raped, you guys have lied, you guys have ripped off, you guys made all you guys money. That all stops now. As Kahuna, as Konohiki, as a light healer, I bless this energy to be unfolded and manifested in prosperity and harmony for all of us. Therefore, your business therefore the mentality and therefore that energy has to be corrected stop you as a person a human being find the right way find the right solution do the right thing for the children of Hawaii all of us answer the children of Hawaii do you care is there light in your heart are you a soul of being are you a human being existing in this lifetime now clearing your karmas with your ancestral lineage clearing your karmas with other ancestors that we have doing what's right to the land because that's where we come from Halo Allah kapulili okiko the breath of life our people our cosmology our way of life we are existing we are the ones to correct and the keepers of heaven so do the right thing I ask you I beg you I inform you, I aloha you. Mahalo kia kua. Inside the taro patch here in Wainiha, the Kuliana Kiva'a Royal Patent 6642 Land Commission Award 9270. And so, um, yeah, I just want to share with you guys a little bit of Mona'o that I, uh, us guys were learning and whatnot. So, yeah, Wainiha, Wainiha Ahupua. It's one of, to my knowledge, it's one of the biggest valleys in this whole Mokupuni, this whole island. It goes 
to the depths, all the way to Wai Ale Ale, Alakai Swamp. And I uh, used to be under Chiefish Kekao Nohi, was the Ali'i that was held under her, her, her name, this whole valley, excepting all the Kuliana. So, as you guys can see, from here where we stay, we got we got all our bananas and yeah we're in the overgrown lo'i you can see some taro growing out of the grass but this is our this is our um our pu'u honua this is our our safe place for ohanas and the keiki to come and and just you know root themselves in the aina and ground themselves in them one you know a pono place where we can come all come learn and and just connect ourselves with our kupuna and and with our brother Haloa, our, our you know our Ohana, it's part of our Mo'oku Ohao. This is this is is our genealogy. This Papa Wakia. So as you guys can see, we got we got houses. All we're surrounded by all houses. This is one vacation rental, and yeah. So I'll share with you guys, the the so-called owner who bought this property. She owns this house too. Her name is Katrina Marner. She's a she's a Russian. They're a Russian family that lives in South Carolina and they have no interest in coming and living on this land. Their only interest is to capitalize and they, they, they like sell and make their money and you know so this house is for sale right now. It's on the market and basically you know it's up for grabs for any foreigner to come over here and buy the house and bring their their other ways of life and lifestyles to come and stomp out our ways that we we try and for just preserve one little piece of our, our life and culture. And you know, Wainiha. Wainiha means the turbulent waters. You know, the rough waters. This place, Wai Ale Ale, the rippling waters. It's the wettest place in the world right here. When this place rain, he paw. This place will flood. We stay in we stay in we stay in flood lands right here. This is all wet, this is all flood zone. This is all wetland. This place goes underwater when, when the rains come. That's why this house stay up high too. They make scared for the tidal wave coming and, and, and the floods. But you know, all these houses is all in taro patches. This is all old lo'is right here. Not even that long ago, back in the 40s and 50s, there was still all, all the vai, the, the awai coming from up the road, had the manu up the road, the water came down the road, down right alongside the road up here by where we got arrested. And yeah, I was one of the ones who got detained. There was four of us who got arrested trying to protect this property. And you know, they, they desecrated the Awai back in like the 40s and 50s. So, so now no more running water. And that's as you can see, but it's still one lo'i. But you know, right here on the side, and I, I would like to show you guys, this is this is the old the drainage Awai. The Awai comes all through through here, and it makes its way to Wainiha River. Wainiha River is only close. On the other side of this parcel, this I know where we stay. The the Wainiha River is like not even hundred yards away. On the other side of that whole bush over there, all those big trees behind that, we stay by the river already. And so. You know, everybody must be wondering too, cause, cause that you know, one, the one of the the talk was about oh burials, burials. Okay, yeah, so let's talk about the burials. So, to my knowledge, from back in the day, you still have the old churchyard up on the hill up here. Get plenty kupuna buried all in this area, especially all up on the ridge. All still gravestones, all marked graves and whatnot. But the Alaloa, the Alaloa is the ancient trail system. It used to run from, from the churchyard and come down through this place. And the Alaloa used to run through this kuliana, through this piece aina right here. And all the kupuna used to walk and, and they would come maintain all the graves all the way through. They go through the valley, they make their way. There's graves all over this place. And I'll, I would like to show you guys where to our knowledge, we know there is marked graves in this place. And we were trying to clean the graves. And as you see that brown house back there, the, the owner of that, this is a vacation rental by the way, that brown house back there. The owner, 
got all excited because he's seen us cleaning by his aina, which was actually the graves. Us boys was coming from Malama to graves. And next thing you know, you go and hire all kind of guys for the, on the other side of this this pile of bushes that they piled up all on the on the bank, all on the pohaku. They had go put one fence and all way to them. They put the fence, they put the fence post right where the graves stay. And I wish I could take you through there for show you the desecration they did. But you know, that is that is marked kind. There, there's coral, there's corals and stuff, and it's gnawing. There's the, there's the bank, there's the coconut tree. The coconut trees, they planted by the, the graves. The Evie Kupuna, you know? And from Kupuna Records, they say there's Evies all over this place. And yes, and even if, they, if there somehow wasn't, it's still, this is our taro patch, it's the lo'i. Everybody, they're getting all excited about title, land title. Guess what? Nobody owned the land. Us guys, it's, just, it's our interest stay in the lo'i, in the taro patch. This is where we stand, in the lo'i. This right here, this is one rare variety of banana. This is a type of iholena. There's only probably less than 500 types of this in the world. It's, a, it's on federal crime for take out an endangered species. You know, we over here propagating and trying to protect all our sacred, you know, male kanu. And, and it, this is all part of our genealogy too. This is kinolao of our gods. and from all this all this place it you know it's 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 who we are and if they're gonna they're gonna take this from us then i don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> i think i think too just it's, it's it's interesting that here you have a beautiful home that's maybe occupied maybe two weeks out of the year it's empty <laughs> or, it's or, empty. or yeah in yeah. this case like like you had mentioned earlier it's and so many of these sit empty so if they continue to pursue and push you and our ohana out of this area this is what the future will look like yeah yet, yet another standing structure you can see one yeah. of those right where are we standing yeah. And that's what all these taro lands is gonna end up. This is some of the primest taro lands in the world. All from, all, all over Hawaii, but we stay here in Kauai from all Halele'a, the, the, you know, the house of joy. Wainiha, this is all the valley floors. This is where all the, the, all the, the nutrients and everything gather, all the water come down here. And you know, if they're gonna take away all our place for, for be sustainable, then, how the rest of the world gonna make it if we no can make it here on the Garden Island? I don't know. I that is that is one big trip. If if us Kanakas no can make it here on the Garden Island and make abundance, then I don't know if the rest of the world gonna be abundant. So we better figure it out. We gotta cuckoo each other and we gotta unify, come together and kapu aloha and just hold the mana and the light and do what is right.
Fun, huh? Yeah. That's right, real stuff. You get something for show, not just plain. Don't buy the taro gonna grow, and you gonna have something for feed the family, feed the ohana boy. Don't buy when you like make lao lao or luau. You can come pick the luau leaf. Yeah. What you hope to? You get some of it. Oh, Roger that. You know already. When you kokua, you gonna go, you gonna be eating. Ah boy, that's someone. Hey, good job, good job, good job. That's all you did. You say covering them up, yeah. So one by when the sun gonna come, he gonna all the all this banana leaf gonna keep the ground nice and moist. And when you break down too, it feeds feeds the the soil, feeds the ava. So the next you know, next you know the ava gonna come all big and strong. And then and when we come over here for for hammer for hammer the root, we gonna have a big root ball. And uncle, good because when it rains, all the dune is gonna come down into there. Yeah, it collects all, and even at night time, all the dew, you know how it get dew at night? All the dew gonna collect all on the leaf let out, and in morning time, it's all gonna just go inside the lap hole and yeah. feed the plant. Oh, that's mine! <laughs> nice one, yeah? Oh, careful, yeah? It's not the machete shop, boy. I work with machetes all day. Do you? Yeah, right. I chop down trees in my dad's backyard. <laughs> hey, we love that. We love that, Kohana. But sharper. Yeah, weapons. you gotta, you gotta make sharp, yeah, boy. And you can use stones to make it sharp. And boy, you know how they tell? If no more water, go find the water and bring them. Put them inside the loi. No more water, put the water inside the loi. Because you know the Kanakas, you have the right to the water, no matter where you go. So no scared, go go get the water, feed the turtle patch. It's the army right there. <laughs> this is the up and coming warriors right there. The Kamali of Wainiha. And by these guys gonna be, they gonna be in the Lo'i planting. And, and they gonna be the ones um, taking on the torch too of our Kuliana. Oh! You need Kokua, boy? Yeah. Wow. Can I go more over there? Oh, oh boy. We go. Oh, we got the doctor in. No need. Next one, next one. We go the time. You guys gotta come back more early in the day and then we can. The time, jam all time. Tomorrow we can jam all day and all night. Okay, well, I see you later, Levaya. Bye. It's a blessing to have them. Love having the kids around us. They're definitely why we stay doing this to make sure that they always gonna have one place. Cause if if they gonna if they gonna take all these places away from us, then not gonna gonna be on concrete jungle like Oahu. And this is the Garden Island, it's supposed to have gardens everywhere. So those are the keiki of Wainiha that live around here, huh? Yeah, yeah, they live they live right down the road. It's all like um, Pule, Ohana, and um, Chandler boys, some of the Chandlers, which is all Mawiki, Ohana, and, but all family. 
it's all yeah it's all the come of the kiki from around they all live down the road and they all go to school Hanalei school but yeah they all they always come ride their bikes up here and and the kind and now they always come check us out in the lo'i come check us out and usually me and Kalimi we try to influence them and put them to work where they should be inside you know getting connected with their roots and whatnot and we just try and keep them rooted and just give them that proper place where they, they always we we make that energy for them like that where it's always open and welcome for them to come over here they're always welcome for come over here anytime and we love that we, we when we see them come oh i come how holy when i see the boys come because that's the very boys should be inside the lot over here learning and whatnot because they there's there's the you know the up and coming from this place and they gotta learn the real thing. And that's why us guys we try to perpetuate the real thing and not the kind um perpetuate the uku. We gotta you know um we gotta malama our kuleana and it's it goes all the way all the way to our keiki and, and then some Your family is from Wainiha, from a long time. Yes. Yeah. So, um, are there practices that are unique to you, Wainiha that you're able to perpetuate here? Practices or plants or, um, you know, are there things that you're doing here that are um, important to perpetuating the culture specifically of Wainiha? Uh, Wainiha is well known for, uh, it's very, uh, the, the special families here that, you know, they cook up a lot of food for all the families, so that's one thing that we do. We cook a lot and share a lot of food. Most of our fishing, traditional fishing, not only in the ocean but also in the river, and, and uh, passing those things on and keeping things alive. Uh, net making, hunting uh, for pua'a. Uh, not only that, but you know, using uh, la'au, uh, la'au lapa'au that we have, you know, medicines and, and uh, plants that grow around and abundantly. And also building canoe parts for our voyaging canoes and, and stuff like that. But Wainiha is known for uh, its for its ohanas and the way they the lifestyles that they have, and not only kalo, but everything else. Watching the place change over and over, especially then uh, removing the stones and not respecting the access to the burial sites. You know, somebody has to say, you know, this is enough. Someone, you know, we had something has to be done, you know, to to stop them or to bring in a different energy. So most of all, it was just the interest to the lo'i and malama the lo'i. And we, we take care and put the kalo back where it belongs. And, you know, grow food for the ohana. It's pretty simple. And that's where we stand, standing in the lo'i. And from that lo'i, you're able to feed some, the, some of the keki of the community also, and the people. Yeah, like, uh, you know, we gather, Everything here and uh, what we what we have, you know, kalo, lo'i, uh, you know, we have the ma'a, many different fruits, you know, uh, ava, a lot of vegetables too that we have growing here. So you know, just just practicing that food security for our own selves and you know, not to be depending on outside uh, GMO. Uh, how should you say? Uh, contaminated foods that we don't know where it came from but you know these are practices that our families uh, lost not only because of uh, you know separation from their land but also just the separation from their livelihood so it's, this is the way to connect you know so it's, it's just a way of connecting and being Pono who we are it's about preserving them and passing it on to our Ohana and everyone else to learn and so we can implement that and everyone's lives to be healthy. And you're passing it on to future generations. We share as best as we can and aloha everybody.
Now is the palima. Now is the time for put our hand on Aina. We know the four corners of our world. Now it's the part time of the palima. So to support the generations, they're going to carry on from here. That's what, that's what this represents to me. This was the promise of the prophecy of the kupunas. For Manao Nui, till the time come when we're going to see and so we can move forward. It's all important. And without this kind of a group in an area, as we've seen in many places, next thing you know, there is no core forest. There is no lehuas. Kaimi, can you tell me what does Aloha Aina mean to you in this context? Uh, Aloha Aina for me uh, very much means to be on the Aina and uh, to malama e, to, to make pono and let our ohane and our family, uh, kupuna guardians, guide us. And Aloha Aina to me also is showing what you know by doing and by creating and most of all sharing. And uh, Aloha Aina to me is uh, you know, standing up also for what you know is pono and going against anything that's wrong or heva. And Aloha Aina to me is also enjoying and with the family and passing it on that way.